That's one point. And see, that's what I'm trying to teach you, lateral movement. You, you charge straight ahead like a ball. Look, if you want to advance, you've got to learn proper technique. Now defend yourself. Hey! Clever move. Actually, at this point, it's a tie. About now. What the hell is going on here? Percy? I was just showing her some moves. We weren't really training. Oh, yeah? What happened to your arm? Nothing. That's why I didn't want you sparring. But what about the tournament? What tournament? She entered a tournament for when we dock at the Mars station. Didn't you tell? My God, Percy, if I can't trust you, what am I going to do? God, how are you supposed to trust me? You never let me do anything. Do anything? What girl your age gets to ride around the solar system, huh? Girl. Yeah, girl. That's what you are, a girl. Get over it. I'm not a baby anymore. Then don't act like one. Now, you get to your quarters and you stay there. Fine. I will. That's an order, Percy. Oh, no. Don't even get me in the middle of this. One more item on the repair list. Captain? Hmm? We're going to be way over budget on repairs next layover. Can you find out for me what the policy is on leave for crew when we get to Mars Orbital? Are you going to let her off the ship? Policy on crew under reprimand is they remain on the ship. You have to stay on the ship. Okay. Then I'm gonna need to know what the legal procedure would be for determining if a commanding officer is mentally incompetent. Sorry to interrupt the family drama, but our beloved Rodolfo has sent us a message. Hey, how you doing there, Dante? Luke and uh, little girl? So, Mars Orbital One. Got you a job while you're there. Big money. It's a transport, that's all. Pick them up and haul them out. I will make sure everything is shipshape before you head out there. Environmental equipment, all that. You've got to be careful on this one. Now, this is a bit of a first I have got for you here. The first inmates in a new facility. Mercury Correctional. I've got to tell you, if they send me there, I would be very corrected. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, everything shipshape. You cannot have any equipment failure that's that close to the sun. Or else...
Where's the other one? Did I just hear a bounty hunter barking a question at me? I believe you did. We get paid for two. Now, where's the other one? Hey, you know what? Kiss my ass. Just tell us the situation, all right? You take this one into custody now, and the second one will be soon. You know what I think? They lost him. They lost their prisoner. They don't know where he is. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! There's no problem, right? Right? Thanks, guys. Shut up! I want you to stay away from him. Why? Because I said so, all right? Uh, I don't speak caveman, so what does that mean? He did very bad things, Percy. Really? I thought he was in jail because he sang off key. Excuse me? Oh, back in the saddle. Looks like they're calling about the other one. No, we just got back. Maybe deliberate. I believe the phrase is jerking your chain. Well, no. Correct me if I'm wrong, which I'm not, but I do believe that on Mars Orbital, the rule is that two of you have to go get a prisoner. She's right. They won't even hand over the prisoner unless we're both there. All right. This is how we play it. You monitor him by remote, you don't go near the cage, and you don't talk to him, understand? He will not corrupt my virgin mind. I don't need to hear that, Percy. Don't talk to him. You have no idea. Gotcha. You got my partner. Hey, that's the bed. You hey, stop me. You're dead. Hi. Hello. I'm not supposed to talk to you. Well, you know what? To be honest, I think that's a good idea. Really? With what everyone thinks of me, it's better for you if no one sees you talking to me. I mean, I don't want to get you into any trouble. Isn't that sweet of you? You don't believe me, do you? That's because I'm sitting on the other side of these bars, and that defines me in your eyes, doesn't it? I think we're all locked in by how others define us. Don't you think? Maybe. I can even see a little bit of it in you. You don't know me. No, but I can read people. You learn that when you've been through enough. Hmm. So you think you can read people, huh? Yeah. Like now. I mean, you're just keeping the conversation going because you want to know what I think of you. Uh-huh. It's OK. I mean, it's natural. We're both attractive people, so it's natural to wonder what the other person thinks. I can read that. But other people don't make it very easy for you, do they? To be the woman you want to be. And if you don't mind me saying, a very beautiful woman. <laughs> You don't see it, do you? I don't think there's anything more charming than a woman who's beautiful and doesn't see it. I think that's beauty itself. I've said way too much. I've been way too direct. It's how you get when you don't have any hope left. 
and then to say what's on your mind. I think you should go now. A serious criminal. I've seen your record uh, armed robbery, attempted murder. Percy, can I ask you a question? Okay. I think I know what you're going to say. I know what an intelligent woman you are. Okay. Do you believe that in all the colonies the legal system is fair and uncorrupted? No. Like, for example, on the Ganymede colony, it's totally corrupted. Of course, how could it not be? And do you believe that everyone that's convicted is guilty? No, of course not. See, sometimes people who want to get you, maybe because they hate your family name, they can get you. Because they've got more money, more power. Look, I just want you to know that, well, I'm not my family, you know? I'm just me. I'm sorry. For you. Hey, I... I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. I'm not. All right, that's enough. I know you have programmed me to respect your privacy, but I have a higher order program to protect you. And that program has just kicked in. You are in serious violation of protocol, and it will be necessary to report to your uncle that you have... that you have... that you have... That I have followed protocol and remained in my quarters while not performing security checks. That you have followed protocol and remained in your quarters while not doing security checks. I certainly hope that improves your relationship with your uncle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't mind saying I've, I've known some women in my time, but that was amazing. Percy, you really are something. Uh -huh. like you. Yeah, the prison is totally automated. The two of them will be kept separated. Wow, that's terrible. It reduces the risk of escape. No human guards to take hostage. And the unit's on the sunward side, and since Mercury doesn't rotate, the prison is always under intense sunlight and radiation. How do you get there? Only way in or out is in a super-insulated robotic land vehicle stored about 100 clicks away on the night side. So if you do manage to escape in nothing but your suit, well, even the best suits can only protect you for about 10, 15 minutes. Wow. You just 
You just fry. Yeah. Um, who are you, uh, who are you really worried about here? What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Nothing. See ya. So you all have to program an eccentric orbit which maximizes our time in the planet's shadow to keep the strain down on the cooling systems. I understand. You haven't had your arm checked. I was supposed to do a scan. It's fine. How do you know it's fine if I haven't checked it? We'll reach orbit in about three hours. Your uncle and I will need approximately 15 hours to escort the prisoners to the main unit. Besides, I don't think it's ready yet. I don't think it can come out of the sling, and if you can't take it out of the sling, how are you going to get it into the suit? I think you should rethink your plan. I think I should go. Don't even think about it, Percy. These are two of the worst criminals we've ever had on the ship. I beat Luke in simulated combat. Hey, just a second now. Simulated combat? That's not real. One of these guys almost killed me. I'll be careful. That's not enough. You can't predict what can happen out there. So, as I was saying, we will need 15 hours, which means you will be dealing with five very eccentric orbits before... Besides, your arm's no better than mine. You couldn't get in a suit either, so that's impossible. My arm is way readier than yours. Oh, yeah? Oh. You know, Percy, in Earth years, I would put your mental age at about nine. You about three. Ha! By the way, that makes me three times more mature than you. Percy! Percy, I want you to run constant checks on the environmental system. I know. I mean it. I really mean it. If you don't stay on top of it. Oh, we fry? Don't say that. Big. Percy! Broil? Percy! Barbecue! Percy! I mean it. Now be careful. OK, all right. Soon. I have to do one more security check on your cousin. How is he? Oh, he's doing just fine. Someone who tried to kill my uncle. Well, that's him, not me. I know. <laughs> hey, you don't know what this has meant to me. All the times you've slipped down here to be with me. It's all I've had, except for... Maybe your trust. Look, you do believe that I'm innocent, don't you? Because I care about what you think of me more than anything. Well, it's just that... It's just that what? It's just that you've been convicted so many times. Don't be like that. You have to go in a few minutes. Look, in, in a corrupt system, they can make up anything they want, Percy. I'm not defending my cousin. I love him, but he's done things. A lot of people with the McNaughton name have done things, but not me. Right? They just wanted to get us all. What are you doing? I'm going to record you holographically right? because I don't want to forget you. Hey, Percy. Yeah. Look, I know you're not supposed to. But what if... Well, what if we recorded you? Me? Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be on my own for the rest of my life. But if I had something that could project an image of you, well, it would be like you were there with me. Right. What do you say? This means to me. Yeah. Hey. Is this thing programmable? Mm-hmm. Why? Oh, it's just. Well. 
Well, I project your image. I don't want to see you in the same light all the time, you know? I might want to see you smile. I might want to see you... I might want to see you in different ways. You can look at me any way you want. see the vehicle. We wait one hour. An hour, for Christ's sake. You put us in the ratchet suits I've ever seen the prisoner in. I can, I can feel the cold in me bones already. It's minus 200 degrees centigrade, Captain. Enjoy it while you can. You know, it always amazes me the cruelty of those who enforce the law. Carvaggio, run diagnostics on this system again. Yes, Madam Captain. So if I'm the captain, can I order myself a leave when we get back? Like, without my uncle? No, Madam Captain. Huh. Okay, cab's arrived. Most time. Yeah, you're worse than a kid. <laughs> younger, oh, cousin, younger, oh. Younger the brain. <laughs> oh, now, tell me, Mr. Bounty Hunter, are you sure that this whole facility, this vehicle too, is absolutely automated? I mean, you're sure they're not putting you on? There aren't some guys somewhere driving this thing. <laughs> Got a great sense of humor for a man facing a life sentence. Yeah, but then again, maybe I'm not. Put your weapons down. <laughs> for the use of your access codes. And, uh, thank you, too. You're a good man. <laughs> How the hell did you do that? Well, your niece. She really likes me. I don't think there's a need for us that you see. No. Go put your helmets on. Don't tell me what to do. You don't have much imagination, do you, cuz? I'm passing sentence now. And I say it's a slow death in the sun. <laughs> ah! jealous of me and I don't have anything else to say about it okay 
Okay, you're right. But I can change. Please don't. Oh, don't talk. You can't change my future. Or should I say our future? See, Jeremy and I have a bond. That's something you can't understand. We're getting married, and there's nothing you can do about it. We both suffered in our lives. Now it's our time for happiness. Please, Percy, please no. don't go. Please don't go. You mean everything you to me. You made your bed, and now you're going to have to take a nap in it, sleep in it. Lied. Dill. All wrong. It's too bitter anyway. Bitter's bad. <laughs> Anyone? Is anyone receiving this transmission? Come in, please. Mercury Correctional One, come in, please. Stop. Just stop. No. I just keep putting tape on here, and we can keep it sealed. Just leave it. It's faster this way. No. No. Listen to me. They're going back to the ship, and she's alone. I can't lose her. You understand me? I won't let that happen. Time for us both to grow as people. Me by expanding my um, horizons, and you by learning to let go of the things that you can't let go of. Yes. Madam Captain, may I interrupt? Privacy, Carvajal. I heard not a whit, not that I'm interested. Mercury Correctional have sent us a message saying the prisoners are being returned due to a medical emergency. I can't get another drop of information from those primitive systems, nor can I reach your uncle. Percy, it's Jeremy. Thank God I got you. There's been an accident. Your uncle's critical. We have to get him onto the ship. What happened? Just open the shuttle bay doors. We have to get your uncle on board. No, 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 no. I can't unless I hear it from my uncle. He's unconscious. Don't even think about it. Luke, then. Percy, she didn't make it. Do not believe this, Percy. Something must have happened to them. How else could they be here? Listen to me. Don't listen to him. Do you trust me, Percy? I don't trust anyone, Jeremy. Good answer. The time we spent together, come on, you saw into my soul. What time you spent together? And I saw into yours. So just open the doors and get your uncle on board. Percy! Trust me. Do not touch the manual override. Transmission through this radiation means it's got to be close. Two escorts unaccounted for. Please report your position. Are you receiving? There. There it is. Where's my... Oh. What do you think, cuz? More trouble than she's worth. Freeze! <laughs> There's no one else on this ship. It's that bloody stupid computer. <laughs>
I just hope Percy doesn't let them on the ship. Percy's a loser, but that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Caravaggio, open the weapons locker. I can't. I'm losing control of the ship. The older one went straight to the bridge and started manual override. Well, where's the other one? Corridor 3, looking for you. Look. Ta -ta 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 -ta. You'll have to translate that. I'm gonna rip wires. Yes. down, emergency power only. I'm programmed to say that. May I also add that I think you're going to die on this ship? Alistair. Get that little cow. She's pulling out all the hardware. Where's my uncle? He's toast. You really are trouble, Percy. Maybe, Jeremy. Or maybe I'll pull out every last watt of power. We did come around the summer side. Figure it out. I'll kill you, too. I don't care. I'm not gonna have time to rig a battery to keep you, Caravaggio. I understand. Goodbye, Caravaggio. Must mean Percy's okay still. What do you mean? Well, the, the McNaughton's wouldn't shut down Caravaggio, so it must mean Percy's pulling wires. But how are we gonna get on the ship? Hey, remember that hatch I rigged with charges in case it's seized? It was cheaper than doing the maintenance? Yeah, yeah. We blow the hatch, we climb on with our spacesuits, we close the hatch, and we pressurize. The only one who knows what she's pulled. Uncle Dante? Percy? Oh, my God, you're alive! I almost shot you, for God's sake. Aren't you glad I'm alive? Yes. Lovely moment. Now, if you don't get your niece to reverse what she's It'll done... It'll happen a lot quicker with two of us. I'll tell you what, one of you put your gun down, and I'll put my gun down. <laughs> I'm not having you running around. Go. Environmental systems now. Ah! 
Sparring helped, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Purse? Are you all right? I feel good. I feel good. Well. It was a good try, cuz, right? We'll get them next time, mate. <laughs> you better get used to that laugh. Yeah, like for the rest of your life. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry. You know, you almost got us all killed. Okay, so I'm evil. You're not I'm evil. You don't really know the worst of it. What? What? I know it's nuts after everything he did, but I still feel sorry for him, you know, for where he is now. You know, sometimes, I mean, I feel something for the prisoners, even the worst of them. I just feel stupid that he tricked me like that. He's a psychopath. They can fool the best of us. Anyway, um, in the meantime, you need to listen to your uncle when he tells you something's dangerous. He really does know. Okay. 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 Someone never showed up to get his arm checked. Yeah, well, I was kind of planning on doing that later. Mm-hmm. But listen, Purse. I don't want to keep you on the tulip against your will. I mean, uh, you know, if you feel like, like your life has taken you in another direction, I don't want to stand in your way. Don't you want me anymore? Of course they want you here. I want you here very much. Well, that's good, because I can't go anywhere. I mean, look at you. You can't even make it down to the infirmary to get your arm checked. How are you going to take care of yourself? Hey, I can take care of myself very well, young lady. Then why don't you go get your arm checked? Because maybe I just don't feel like it. Second one. 
warning, will be punished by fatal electroshock. Sleep period, lights out. <laughs> Next, on Star Wars. You were the one who killed my wife and stole my son. Go ahead and finish me off. Go, 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 go! Shoot me like the dog! Come on, get the hell away from me! Get off! I'm not gonna shoot you! This is gonna be my son! I've just got the results from the DNA test. Who wants to see a magic trick? 